morning everybody welcome back to the channel if you are a subscriber if you're not welcome hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up like subscribe to the channel coming to you from the ocala national forest this morning i'm at beekman pond or beekman lake one of the two and uh it's a little out of the nowhere spot as you can see i'm packing me uh that's kind of what we're looking like we have foggy conditions i've seen a couple of fish jump already but this is the boat launch this is the boat launch and uh it runs uh right off the ocala national forest excuse the traffic going by uh, parking spot is limited here. This is basically car top boats only. I wouldn't put a big boat in here. You can't. Um, I think there is a uh, limit on the motor for how fast you can go out here. So I'm not worried about that. I got the kayak. But uh, yeah, I've seen some fish jumping already. Let's get out here and get it done. Well, as soon as I get on the water here, I heard an alligator, but I'm throwing, uh, I'm going to throw the top water frog here, splashing frog, see if I bring any fish up. Tall grass, there's uh, hydrilla I've gone over, lily pads. This is right near the end of April here. I hope that this lake has not seen too much pressure. And I'll be able to pull some kind of nice fish out of here today. Past couple videos, we've had some serious skunks. Hope to redeem myself here. Got Mr. Gar there. He's curious. Cigar is curious. How about Mr. Bass? Is Mr. Bass in here? Foggy morning, nobody else here. Beautiful, like that. Appears to be some houses around the lake. Maybe other people are going to come out later. Doesn't appear to be very big. It's really nice. Switch from the frog, going with a spinnerbait trailer. That was kind of a bad cast. I didn't want it to go in that little tree over there. So let's get this thing back. We'll fix that. It's wrapped around. Let's see which way we're going here. Go. 
I would think it's still early enough in the morning where I could get away with the frog for a minute. But... Doesn't appear to be anything. Moving around. Just that one gar that I saw earlier. Thought I saw something chasing bait a few minutes ago, so I decided to cast back over into this bank area. But that could have just been some gar too going through and stirring them up. After that spinner bait, I went to a swim bait real quick just to see if that would make a difference in here. That didn't, so I decided, oh, forget it. I'll go back through the frog for a minute, and then I have tied on a rattle trap in place of the swim bait. I think that some of the depths in here are, are going to be pretty good. It's There's hydrilla in here. Who knows, maybe I can get a bowfin out of this place if, if no bass. Not likely to get a gar hitting anything that I have. They just don't care. They'll move a bait around like a perch will. Kill it, move on. Go try those lilies over there. A little island. Let's see what's see what's up over there. Forget this corner. It's been a few minutes and I, since I've seen any movement over here anyways. You can see the hydrilla down there. I mean, there's got to be some decent fish in here. I would think, but boy, they, they, we know the spawn has already occurred, and if these places get hammered, like I know the Harris Chain of Lake is gonna, Chain of Lakes is gonna get hammered again this month. They've got back-to-back -back tournaments almost every weekend, so you are not gonna see me on there, folks. And then we're gonna get into hot season, which is pick and choose fish are not going to be liking that and that's that's going to be coming up soon see we had just one jump and that was behind us you would think I'm in the lilies and a nice big fat bass wants this frog but that's simply not the case. Nothing. Nothing is coming out of anywhere. Just asking for one bass. Well, I would like more than one, but I will take one. Gee, some fish are starting to surface over there. You can see the rings. But man, seriously, I cannot afford another skunk in this kayak. <laughs> Can't do it. This inland fisheries is for the birds. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I, I like trying new areas. I've never been here before. Uh, as far as I know, there are no facilities here. That is just, uh, the boat launch is just kind of, um, I don't know, I don't want to say crummy or crappy, but it's not like state of the art or anything. We're here in the Ocala National Forest, and uh, it's kind of like uh, just a primitive boat launch with, um, oh, what do we got? We got anything? Nope. Uh, a primitive boat launch with... Uh, Great access to, uh, you know, this lake, this pond, whatever you want to call it. You know, so can't really complain. This, this is a new place for me. I've never fished this. I brought the tackle that I did. Uh, I think I made the right choices from what I've seen so far of this area. And we just hope that, uh, there's a nice fish coming up over there, and we just hope that uh, it 
We can get a nice fish out of here. I got pulled into the weeds, folks. Had a couple little taps. I let it sit for a minute, and then I brought it back up. I got nothing. I'm all wrapped up here in the weeds. Some kind of fish on, or something. Something hit it. Oh, sweet. Oh, he got off. He got off. That was a bass, folks. Ah. Ah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh man, he got off. What can he do? What can he do? It was a real light bite. Real light. It's all right, we'll get it back out there again. <laughs> oh, I need the skunk out of this boat. At least I got a hookup. At least I got a hookup. He just did not want to stay on. Man, Look it up. kind of broke away a little bit of the uh, the main area. Saw this lily pad field here, and I'm curious if there's any fish in it. It sounds like the bass are crashing in in this uh, weed line here I saw them crashing across the way on the bank kind of hoping that if I maybe got in here a little bit I'd get something instead of just plugging at the main body but Well, the clouds have moved in. It's gusting about 10 miles an hour right now out here. The winds weren't supposed to be like this today, so uh, I give the weatherman an F on the windage. This was supposed to be a six, seven mile an hour day, but I am getting pushed around like no tomorrow. I cannot stay in just one spot. I've got the anchor. Thought about getting it out. And uh, been able to hold myself better. But there's so much water. So many little inlets and everything to go explore. I'm probably not going to do that. Probably just going to be drifting and casting. Um... But yeah, getting blown out here a little bit. Maybe if I get into uh, these little areas here, be able to stabilize a little more. I've uh, switched up uh, some baits. Uh, I've gone to a green Cinco. Uh, I'm using a rattle trap. I've put away the frog. I think the time has passed for that. It's, uh, I don't know later in the morning here. So I think the frog is a no-go. Um, so my third bait uh, that I'm going to leave on the rod and reel is uh, the spinner bait with trailer. Uh, I'll just be switching out between the Cinco and the rattle trap if I need to uh, switch any bait. But otherwise, I'm just going to keep those on. Just had a small bass on. Something real small. Oh. There we go. Yep, there we go. That's a better one. That's a better one. Another one came and hit it. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. There we go. About time. 
Get the skunk out of this boat. About time. Absolutely perfect. Well, they broke the lure and everything. Easy there, buddy. Easy there. He's not leaving me much choice. I've got to uh, go up to the gill a little bit there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> he has knocked around everything in the kayak. Because he broke free here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Not too bad. That's good. We got the skunk out of the boat. I was worried that we were going to get uh, get another bad day here, folks. But uh, we're not. On them. Yeah. The lucky hat helped today. Let's get him back in the water. Easy release. There we go. kind of hoping maybe around this uh, around this stump area I'd connect with something I'd one chase it just before I turn on the camera and it just broke off so it just took off finally the sun is coming out oh now I really threw in the Thick of things. Oh, I spooked a good one. Oh, there we go. Let's see. There we go. Yep. There we go. Yep. Maybe. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Come on. There we go. All right. Whoa. Let's get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. We'll get him in the boat. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Settle down, settle down, my friend. All right, settle down. Settle down. These bass are uh, good and healthy. Feisty. They're feisty. Look at that, that's perfect. Look at that. Give me a minute, folks. Yeah, all right, there's another good one. Another good one. Tossing over to that uh, stump line there. There were two or three of them. And this one decided he'd take the Senko. There we go. Let's get him back in the water.
keep hearing some stuff behind me. I left that little spot. But, uh, you always just keep mindful of gators. You know, I don't need any of them stinking up behind me. around all this tree line. I'm not even spooking anything. There's one right there. He was coming for it. He was coming for it and he decided to pass it up. Damn. Hey, that's fishing. Not catching. It's alright. I'll start out there and I'll bring it back across this other way. And we'll see if we can get him to, to come back around here. Or maybe not get hung up. <laughs> Lucky hat on him. It's starting to help my game a little bit uh, later in the day here. That's very good. Thank you, Matt Robinson. I appreciate it. Matt Robertson is a professional angler out of Kentucky. He will be fishing the Bassmaster Classic. Good dude, real people. Any kind of bass fishing event that he comes to here in Florida that he's fishing, I try to make. Uh, I believe in standing behind your people. So I definitely try to get there when he's fishing local here. Um, I met him when he was fishing the Harris Chain of Lakes. Me and my buddy Steve Stone met him. And uh, I've, yeah, I, I'd say I pretty much follow him on his Instagram and Facebooks and I've kept in touch with him. We, we do comments back and forth. You see a few of my videos uh, where I've got his hat in it. I am no way sponsored. Um, by Matt Robertson. I am no way sponsored by BASS. Let's just get that out there. Okay, so we're talking about a professional angler. No sponsorships. Um, Matt is just a good person. He's a, he's a genuine, real person. You know, if you have any kind of questions about bass fishing and what's going out there in the real world of bass fishing, reach out to him. More than likely, he will reply. I know he's been fishing hard. He's got tournaments left and right going on. But yeah, get all of them, good people. All right. Uh, the tree. Damn tree. Yep. All right, well. That's what a rod holder's for. He got out. Hopefully. Hopefully he got out. He got off. He got off. Yep. Another one you can chalk up to the stupid wind. I'm telling you, this, this wind has absolutely hurt me back here in the last half hour or so. I knew there would be a fish there. You can see him moving around. I turn on the camera, make the cast, get the fish. And yup, he takes me to the tree and then the wind blows the kayak around. Yeah, that's been my day, folks. <laughs> oh my God, been my day.
Well, I'm hearing splashing even beyond the uh, tree line here. So this waterway must go in the back pretty good. I spooked the fish. And you can't tell the area where I got caught up in. That tree where I lost a, a decent one. Uh, which is moving in there. I'm anchored up. I've been making a few casts. And nothing is happening. The wind is relentless. Uh, check the wind factor again. We're at 10 miles an hour still, so. I think we'll make a few more casts uh, in the upper part of this area, and then we're gonna move on out of here. There we go. Got a little one. Got a little one. Decent little fish. Another bass. Good stuff. Then anchor up for this one. Nice little fish. Good stuff. We'll get them back in the water. Well, everybody, that's going to conclude today. The fish have been shut down for a little while now. Nothing doing. So I'm going to head on out of here. It's been a great day. I've missed some fish. I've caught some fish. Thank God the skunk is out of this boat. Hopefully the lucky hat had something to do with that, along with the bass fishing skills, of course. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, share it with friends, please. Appreciate all my subscribers. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers for joining the channel. Really appreciate that as well. And we'll see all of you on the next adventure. Take care.